Okay, guys, here's our homework for Tuesday. We're going to take a look at these problems. I want you to pause me and try to solve them on your own. There'll be 10 questions. Make down your, sure you jot down your answers so you have them for your Canvas tile for your homework. So uh, we're going to use this chart for number one, two, and three. So take a look at the chart. Um, and I'll put number one, two, and three on the screen since they're all part of the chart. I want you guys to pause right now and try to answer one, two, and three. Okay, so this hopefully is not that hard for you. This unit really kind of just starts off as a review um, of a lot of the things we've already talked about. So it says, what is the value of the four in the thousands place? Well, here's the four in the thousands place. That's a four times a thousand, which is just the four with the three zeros at the end, or you can multiply it out, whatever you want. So number one, you should have got C. Okay, number two says the value of the four in the thousands place is 10 times the value of the four in what place? So start to think of these zeros again, right? So if it's uh, 4,000, if it is uh, 4,000, and you want to know the value of the what did I just do? I just skipped number. Hold on. I skipped number two. That's why I was getting confused. Hold on. Let's go back. Number two says, what number is 10 times the value of the four, the four in the tens place? So a four in the tens place is really worth a 40, right? Four tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. Uh, 10 times the value of it, so times 10. Now you pretty much can stop because you've already got your answer there, right? Equals 400. So you've got to um, pick the equation that works for that problem. So now number three, sorry, I was reading number three earlier and thinking about the answer to number two. So I was a little messed up there. So now let's look. The value of the four in the thousands place. So 4,000, that four is in the thousands place, right? Is 10 times the value of the four in the blank place. So we are, wanna know what this is 10 times. So we're kind of going backwards, right? We wanna know what number when you go 10 times it would get you to the 4,000. So really, if you guys remember, we taught you about the zeros, uh, 10 times, that just has one zero. So if you wanna go back and figure out which one has the value uh, that, that would lead to the 4,000, you just take a zero off and that leaves you with 400. So it would be the hundreds place. you have to review some of those videos we did just on adding and dropping the zeros. And this is really not that hard for you guys. All right, pause me and do number four. Okay, same thing. It says, how many times greater is 15,000 than 15? And again, we're really just looking at the zeros, right? put a one in front of it, three zeros, and number four is a thousand times greater. Now you can sit here and take this 15 and do 15 times 10 and then 15 times 100 and you'll eventually get the right answer. But if you know just to pay attention to the place value numbers and for the tens, we're not even doing decimals. I feel like we did this with decimals. Now we're doing it with the whole numbers. So I feel like this almost I'm almost forgetting how to explain this to you guys because it's actually like easier than what we were just doing, right? All right, pause me and look at number five. So which number with digit eight represents a value 10 times greater than the value represented by the eight in 48,000? So 48,000. And I hope you guys see, even when I'm reading these, this is just a lot of words to confuse you. This is the kind of problem. These are the kind of problems that 
are so easy. You need to read the questions a couple times to understand what they're asking. Even as I'm doing this video, after I've practiced and after I have the answers, I still got to go slow to make sure I'm telling you guys this the right way. So which number with a digit eight value 10 times greater than the value in this number? So we have this number here, right? And we need to go 10 times greater than this, which is going to move my eight over to here. So that means my eight would go to the 10,000 spot because 10 times is one more one spot over, right? You're basically adding one, uh, one uh, place value spot in. So I need to find a choice that has um, the eight in the 80,000 spot. And this is the only one that has the eight in the 80,000 spot, right? And if you're confused, I mean, think about it. You know that this eight is in the thousand spot, right? And you know you need a value that it's 10 times greater. So you know this eight is worth 8,000. So you have to find, you know that your eight over here has to be worth more than 8,000. So even if you get confused on the math, you know that your eight has to be worth more than 8,000. Well, this one is only worth 800. This one's only worth eight period. And this one's only worth 80. So even if you couldn't do the math, thinking about the words, you would by default know that the only answer that could possibly make sense is C. So whether you solve it or you pay attention to the words, two different ways to look at number five, right? Okay, take a second to look at number six, pause the video. Okay, so number six is another one of these ones where you just have to put the numbers in and test them, right? But you can also look, there's three zeros. So we're gonna put, one of these numbers has gotta go here, and then one of these numbers is gonna go here as our answer, right? So we need to find the one that adds three zeros. Well, this has got one zero and one zero, and it adds three zeros. So I think A is gonna be our answer, but let's check the rest. This has one zero and this one zero, and it only adds two. We need it to add three because we're going up by a thousand, right? This one doesn't have any zeros and only goes up by two. This one doesn't have any zeros here and goes up by four. So you can go ahead and put each of these numbers in here and multiply them out till you find the one that works. Or if you remember our rule with the place value with the zeros, how it moves and how you can just chop off the zeros to get your answers that we've done a billion times, um, you can also find the answer. So same thing with number seven. You guys can pause now if you want, but I'm just gonna go right to number seven. We keep telling you when you have zeros, now you can line this up and put your 32,000 divided by three, million two hundred thousand that's a lot of work right but remember when you see this and you see zeros on both sides you can just go like this one zero gone two zero gone three zeros gone now you've got 32 and if you took away three there you got to take away three here isn't that a much easier problem now you're just taking this 32 goes into this 32 right here one time and then you have two zeros left and your answer is C. So, I mean, you can do this, but if you remember the uh, strategies that we teach you, uh, it makes it a lot easier. Okay, pause and do number eight. First thing to remember with number eight, all the correct answers. You have to check every single one of these or you'll miss because you might find one you might find two, there might be three, there might be four. You have no idea how many right answers there are. So the question is asking us, the four in the first value needs to be a hundred times more. It needs to get a hundred times, it needs to be a hundred times bigger. So that means we gotta go back two spots, right? So let's take a look. In 2400, that's 400. And this is four. Do I have two zeros here? That's 100 times bigger. So that would be one of your answers. Let's look at our four here. This is 400. This one is 400. Did this one get 400 bigger? No. So that one doesn't count. 
Our four here is worth 4,000. Our four here is worth 40. Does this one have two more zeros than this one? And the answer is yes, right? Because here's a zero and here's the zero. And then here are the two extras. So that would be one of your answers because it's going up. The value of the four is going up 100, right? Don't worry about the numbers. If you're looking at 14,922 or 87,341, you're doing this wrong. We're only looking at the four in each of these problems, right? So this one is 40,000. And this one is in the 400s place. Now you might say, ooh, that doesn't look like it's 100 times more. But look, you've got two zeros here. And that's these two zeros. Now for it to go up 100, there needs to be two more zeros. And there are. So this is one of the answers also. The next one, the four here is worth 40. The four here is worth four. We only have one zero. This only went up 10 times. So that's not one of the choices. This one is worth 4,000. This one is worth uh, four. We have three zeros. That one went up by a thousand. So that is not one of the answers. So those are your three answers, but on those type of questions, you have to do every single one. All right, let's look at, I'm gonna put up number nine and 10, pause me and do both of those, number nine and 10. Okay, so again, we're gonna look at the zeros to make this easier, right? How many groups of 100 do you need to make the number 32,000? So you can divide, I mean, actually it's even easier. If you just, you look, you could take the zeros off, take those two zeros off, take these two zeros off, and there's your answer right there. Because one goes into 320 one time, right? Um, now, if you need a different way to think about this, you could divide 100 into 32,000, because that's gonna give you how many groups of 100 there are, right? But you're gonna get the same answer, right? 100 doesn't go into 30, doesn't go into two, it goes into 323 times. Uh, that would give us 300 with the two, uh, drop down the zero, two, drop down your other zero, you're still gonna get 32 or 320, right? So it's just a whole nother thing with the zeros, right? So whether you do the problem or whether you just drop those zeros off, and the same thing with number 10. What do we need to multiply to change this number into this number? Well, we got a one that matches. We got a zero that matches. This zero matches this one. This zero matches this one. This seven matches this one. So we need to add two more zeros. What number that we multiply has two zeros in it? The one has always still got to be in there, right? We're just dealing with the zeros. So your answer for number 10 would be D. Uh, keep practicing those. We're just starting this unit. So hopefully this is looking familiar to you because we kind of did this the opposite direction with the tens, hundreds, and thousands. And now we're just shifting it the other way. And when we did powers of 10 earlier and like the multiplying and dividing, we showed you all this. Um, personally, I feel like we should have taught you this first, but I don't know. They didn't let us. So... Uh, keep practicing, get those answers and enter them in to Canvas. Uh, have a good night.